will not have the right one up. Okay, I have no idea what we're doing. We have a decent amount of money, it's not near the end of the month. Good, because otherwise we're gonna lose. Because <laughs> I, I have to pay like, I don't know, 10 million dollars worth of salaries to engineers or something like that. Which isn't isn't the best, but they make us a lot of money, so as long as we like have 10 million in the bank we're probably fine. I have no idea why we're missing a guy in that, in the Avenger. Um, <laughs> I haven't played in close to a month, not quite a month, but something close to it. So if you're watching on like the bottom of this on YouTube, then great, no interruption for you. But for some reason I'm missing three people here. Maybe a couple of them were just wounded. I think we lost a guy raiding the alien base. Because we raided the alien base to try and get the commander, because the commander you need to finish off... Uh, you need to finish off the Martian solution, so like you need to figure out what's going on. In order to do that, you have to capture a commander that only at alien bases. But uh, we went in, we tried to capture one, and apparently he just came out and got shot. He didn't stay inside like they usually do. Um, so next time I might have to be a bit more... Uh, suicidal. I was going to say cautious, but that's not correct. Suicidal about... Um, Build facilities. So it's all about trying to capture him alive. So might take a few losses doing that, but oh well. Don't have that many options anymore. Also, one of the reasons I haven't been, I haven't like played in ages, is because we've basically already won the game. The rest of it is just proving to the game that you're allowed to win, really. Because we've we've done all the most difficult things already. Why does everyone have flying suits? Maybe it was just in case the base got raided. Again, it's been a while. Um, so let's shoot down this UFO. We're not going to go to it because it's going to be a nighttime ish. Wow, that's going fast. Is that a battleship? No. Oh. Well, it's a battleship. <laughs> Actually, if it's a battleship, I don't actually want to shoot it. I just want to like follow it around until it lands. And even then, I don't want to go to it because it's nighttime. <laughs> so maybe we'll let it land and then wait for daytime, and then hopefully it will stay on the ground until it's daytime. I'm worried about a fuel though. Um, the Avenger is. The best combat craft and the best transport craft, but it's not the highest fuel capacity craft. The Sky Range is actually the best at that. Um, plus, the Avenger uses, you know, Illyrium for its fuel, which is really, really inconvenient because it's not easy to keep stocking up on Illyrium all the time, unless, or well, basically, unless you allow an alien base, multiple alien bases to exist, then the alien bases will constantly be visited by supply ships. Um, the supply ships will land, and then you can raid the supply ships when they land. Other than that, it's not easy to keep an early room supply uh, very high for very long, unless you're not using it on anything, but we've built so many like flying suits and that sort of thing. So we use up Illyrium quite a bit. What is this guy doing? I thought he was on a alien base, yeah. He's patrolling as if he's looking for us over in Tainted Mines, which is... I don't know what country this is, but this is Papua New Guinea. <gasps> it landed. I should brush up my geography. They're right next to Australia. <laughs> okay. So... Someone can have a stun rod. And I think we should also prime a lot more smoke grenades than usual, because this is a battleship we're talking about. There's going to be a shitload of people, like aliens. 
you can have another smoke grenade. And you can have a smoke grenade. And you can have a smoke grenade. And you can have a smoke grenade. And that'll do. Oh, are they? I can't tell. That looks like a uh, snake man. That's, that's, that's fine, I guess. Okay, I, I forgot the battleships actually carry terror units on board, so we're gonna have to do with fucking chrysalids. Oh, he nearly shot his friend, but he did hit me. He didn't do any damage, so that's a good sign. Just chillin'. No worries. Uh, this might be a painful mission. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. We don't need to be here. I'm kind of worried that coming here was a mistake. Ow. Okay, well. He says hello. <laughs> I didn't realize he would shoot me from that position. But hey, the more you know. Um. Just chill, I suppose. And we'll get the other guys to come out with grenades in hand. Good lord, that chrysalid is way too close. Okay, so. Let's make off in front of this entrancey bit here. Maybe not. Is the Avenger in the way? Probably the problem. Uh. If you throw this, you can't shoot, is my concern. <laughs> That's the worst grenade throw we've had this entire run. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't great. I should probably get these guys to be sprinting out. We need to kill that. God damn it, guys. Let's just go down. I need to kill that chrysalid. As soon as is practical to do so. And we're gonna need this guy to <laughs> throw another grenade. Once he stops panicking, once he sees all the aliens. I think... There yeah, is good. Maybe closer to us. Like they are. Hey, there we go. And you don't have enough time to do anything, so run the fuck away. Perfect. Sprint, damn it. Down. Sprint. Keep sprinting. Kill the chrysalid. Kill the chrysalid. I got a couple hits, but we didn't kill it. God damn, I am immediately regretting coming here. If there's like another crystal just hiding behind a tree or something, we're so screwed, dude. <laughs> it's gonna... It's... It's gonna cause some problems. Just run, damn it. 15, alright, he can double snap. He can't... Because if he doesn't auto, he can't... God damn it. If he doesn't auto, he can't afford to do anything else, so he might as well just double snap. Down. Sprint. Keep sprinting. And smoke. Oh, that's good enough. Honestly, stay there. Get him down. Okay. That is one less thing to worry about. But we still have to deal with this chrysalid. And I think our smoke cover's inadequate too. So, that isn't great. Actually, is this the edge of the map? It is. Maybe our smoke cover's okay. 
The map's not very big, which is weird because it's a battleship, but whatever. Kill this. That's a pistol. I think. So I guess this guy isn't a priority, just kill the chrysalid. Okay, step one is to hit the chrysalid. But, good try, I guess. And everyone's just like stopping part way through because they're all seeing this chrysalid and they're freaking out. It's just wasting time. They're also freaking about it. Uh, they're also freaking out about the Snake Man, but mm, he's Snake Man doesn't turn us into zombies, so I'm gonna give him a, a free pass for now. <laughs> yes, there is a crystal there. Yes, I would like you to shoot it. Excellent. After we've killed this guy, I think I'm gonna chuck another smoke grenade down. Shots. Okay. Um, just in case there's like another chrysalid floating around. Um, I don't want it seeing us. Then again, I kind of want to see it if it exists. So maybe we'll smoke us. We'll smoke right next to us. So that it can't see us and then we can just move forward. And take a look if there's something there. Please tell me one of the last guys has a smoke grenade. They both do. Alright, good. I want one sort of just here. Uh, we're at a level high, my friend. It's not very useful. And we want the next one over here. Sort of, I don't know, like here, here, here. Yeah, that'll do. It's not, it's not ideal. Like there's, uh, the snow cover in here is pretty bad, but eh, whatever. We'll live, maybe. Now I'm really worried about blasters as well. Blasters would make us have a very bad day. Be a really big issue. Like, look at how many aliens are on this craft, dude. Insane. We'll finish scouting outside, just make sure nothing's hiding behind trees or anything like that. And then we'll all converge on the um, UFO itself. Hello. I thought those were pistol, like this guy was carrying a pistol, but now I think they're actually both carrying something else. I think this is just weird, a weird way to hold his hand out. I think he's actually holding a, a full gun. So we will eliminate him. But we're going to try and use rupees to do it, if we can. like low experience people, not literally rookies. Because a lot of my rookies are actually sergeants. Just because, you know, they've been here a while. And the game, the, the way the promotion system works is it always has to promote people if a certain numerical criteria of soldiers is met. So like the soldiers don't have to be good they just have to exist and they can get a promotion. It just like tries to pick the best soldier. What the fuck was that? Okay, well, you can still shoot, surprisingly. But <laughs> it's kind of exhausted. I guess it's because he didn't have a flying suit. So he thought that was the easiest way to get there. I thought the other way would be easier, like going around the top right, but. Maybe not. I'm not convinced that was the fastest way to do that either, but... 
Oh well. Did he just say he has no line of fire and then hit the guy? That doesn't make much sense. Okay, that guy had a heavy plasma, so that's not great. Uh, what I might do is also just walk some people forward slightly just to see if there's anything out there. Oh shit. Didn't have enough time units to walk back. Um, that way we just know about the threats ahead of time, because right now we're smoke screened, so we can't actually see out. But also means they can't see in, which is the goal. Um, just, just with so many of them, I don't want to fire them all at once. That would be not implicitly suicidal, oh, not explicitly suicidal, but not not a smart idea. Casualties would be unnecessarily high, so. Smoke them out, split them off from each other, and then take them out slowly and safely. At this point, it's looking very much emphasized on the slowly part, though. And that guy's not even dead, he just got knocked out from being hit with a laser, because, you know, getting hit with a laser makes you full unconscious, obviously. Like, you guys don't know anything about lasers. I don't love how few people we have on this side, and I also don't... I don't like the way he walked there, but I was gonna say, I don't love the fact our smoke cover's a little... What? Yeah, like I just walked here? Oh, whatever. I don't like the fact that our smoke cover's a little... low. Um, but hey, what can you do? So one guy outside, bunch of doors. Do we have a shot on this guy? No, we don't. Unless we use the tank, which I'd rather there, yeah, which I'd rather avoid. Tanks don't don't get experience from shooting things and killing things. Hello. Um, kind of looks like a chrysalid. But it also kind of looks like a snake man, so... I don't know. It is a snake man. But we have no shot, so... We're just gonna hide behind the tree. And hope he goes away. Is he hiding behind... Part of the UFO? So, this is a battleship. We've never actually encountered this one on the ground before. We've never actually fought it in the air either, but... Um, it has like four... Eight bits and then a central bit in the middle. The central bit is a giant elevator which just goes up into this massive ship. Um, and these have elevators in them too, but they don't have doors on them. The only doors are in the middle. So. Oh, they are shooting my tank. Of a tank at that. Those things are not cheap. Has this guy gone away? No. Has the other guy gone away? Maybe. No. <laughs> uh, he's out of realistic, yeah, realistic line of fire. So I'm just gonna pull back so he doesn't shoot us for free. And my dear friend over here will. Go back to hiding behind his tree. And we will... Maybe start advancing. Because outside looks relatively clear. Ish. I guess. So... We probably don't need many more people outside. We can sort of start focusing the central elevator bit. 
My biggest concern is still one of the aliens aboard the ship has a blaster. And I've talked about them a bit, but we've never seen them in action before. They're self-guided rocket launchers on steroids, essentially. They do extreme damage. They'll shoot... Uh, like, you know how a smoke grenade sort of... Well, okay, smoke dissipates. So this isn't a great example, because all this smoke didn't used to be this big. But um, a normal grenade might do damage in sort of the same area as this. Um, or a rocket launcher will do sort of damage in an area similar to this. A blaster does like twice this size, it's like this big. And the amount of damage it deals within that area is... I think it's 255. For reference, a laser does like... sorry, a laser rifle does like... I don't know, 60, 70, something like that? Not a lot. Um... Proximity grenades do like 60 as well, I think. Normal grenades do 50, 60. So, blasters are a big deal. I might just split these guys up slightly. Like, we're so grouped up because there's kind of no space to maneuver. The map's really small and there's one main focal point. So if they hit us with a blaster, it is not going to be pretty, let's say that. And that's part of the reason I'm starting to like spread out a little bit. I'm just I'm scared of them all dying. It would not be a fun day if all of my guys died. There's a crystal there and we didn't see it until now. That is really bad. Actually, just smoke him out. Well, you missed. <laughs> bad is getting worse. Still no line of fire. We need to kill this guy. It is going to be, not definitely, but potentially extremely, what the fuck. We killed someone back here without seeing them. Okay, well, <laughs> that's great, but we really need to kill the chrysalid. Oh, excellent. Good shot, dude. He got lucky as well, his accuracy is actually quite low. What I'm going to do is grab another smoke grenade, because the first one missed, surprisingly, and just chuck it in there. And that should, hopefully, provide us a bit better cover. Um... Think you will hover above us and guide us to victory. Other tank, you will hover around us and guide us to victory. That guy should be able to be shot. Good stuff, good stuff. And we'll hide back behind the tree now. Hmm, 
how many people? 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so the bottom side needs a couple more people. Around the back side. That shot now. So we haven't really used them, but these buttons reserve time units for things. So like it just will not let you um, use your all of your time units. So that in theory you can do that thing at the end of the round, or um, for reaction shots you can um, get a reaction shot in with your spare time units. But uh, I sometimes use the buttons, but most of the time I don't. Usually I like pre-plan what I'm doing, so... Something in my eye. <laughs> Usually I pre-plan what I'm doing, so like the buttons are not really that helpful. They just sort of are inconvenient. Um, but if you're not really sure, like if you like to plan on the fly or that sort of thing, then they can be quite helpful. Um, especially if you want to get reactions training, you can like set everyone to have a snapshot um, free. So they can just, you know, take a shot. Maybe, potentially. Start lining these guys up a bit better. Well, that, that works, I suppose. Alright, so one, two, three, four. We are missing a guy? One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, I put one too many here. Yeah, okay, eight, eight, and then two outside. Um, how do we split that? So that's the middle line. Be like there. It's too close. Um, one back. Oh, why not? And the middle line here is like yeah, which means yeah. I guess. Oh, he's on the line, okay. Uh, I don't really like their semicircle very much, but oh well. Very semicircular. Shame there's no commanders on battleships. It'd be really convenient if we could capture one without finding another alien base. Because when the aliens aren't doing very well, they don't build many bases on Earth. And we've been kicking their ass, so they have not built many bases on Earth. Let's move slightly closer. Maybe to like here. Should be mirrored over here, I think. Yes? Yeah. And just look inwards, and then these two guys will cover his flank. In case someone comes from um, over here and sort of comes out this way. And then all of our dear friends can form a slightly better semicircle. Actually, you shouldn't be there because this guy's going to be there for you. Um, there? Is that good enough? I guess it is. A 
That's so close. Making me a little uncomfortable to room that close, but yeah, that's that's good enough. All right, and now we wait for a while. If we can kill a few more before we move up, that would be really good. I just want to limit the number of aliens we potentially encounter at the same time. But if we find too many at once, it's hard to take care of all of them. Um, without risking, like, return fire. Or the fact that we simply miss some shots. If there's a lot of aliens and we miss a lot of shots, then they're gonna shoot us back. So if we can avoid that, then that'd be good. Like there's, there's a lot of guys. Oh. <laughs> I've killed like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, one, a couple of them are only unconscious. They might bleed out while they're unconscious. Um, but yeah, we've we've downed slash killed eight of them, and they're still moving as if they have twenty left. So they have a lot of guys on board. Condense the formation as we move up. Leaves us a little vulnerable to grenades and blasters, but <laughs> can't play totally risk free. Every action is risk, inaction is also a risk. So we'll just split this squad into two fours. And then we'll just surround those double doors in the middle. Surprising amount of um, movement. Um, so what I'm thinking is we'll have five guys here, five guys here, and then eight guys down here. So, I'll get ready with the 5 on this side, we'll rotate 3 of these guys over, and just let them sit there. Um, these 5 can be on this side, and then we'll rotate these 4 down, They're over here. And hopefully there's no grenades in the meantime. The tanks aren't going to do anything. Um, they, they can technically go inside, but I don't really want them to. I kind of just want to deal with everything outside. Um, going inside's more fun, like, you guys would get to see the battleship, but I don't want to lose people just because it's more interesting to see the inside. So, I apologize about that, but I like to keep my soldiers alive when possible. With the possible exception of capturing a commander, because that's kind of suicide regardless of how you look at it. But if you want it done in a reasonable time frame at least. So Sunny's panic, that's good. And we are just a Holy shit. So that massive explosion you saw that covered nearly the entire screen? That was a blaster. The guy holding the blaster went berserk and fired a shot. And it did a shitload of damage. The downside of that is that it'll actually like destroy stuff inside. Um like any any valuable things inside which we can recover. 
a lot of that just got exploded. Unfortunately. Because the battleships are full of stuff. Just trying to duplicate what I'm doing on that side over here. I think it's a pretty good um, format, format, formation to be in. Like that blaster shot might have literally cost us a million dollars, depending on how much he blew up. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so we're gonna really block ourselves up at the bottom half and just cross our fingers they don't chuck a blaster our way, because they clearly have them on board. Although at least one of them is dead, so if there's only one then we're golden, but I'm still worried there's more. If I fire one into the middle of this pack, all eight of them might die. We'll see. Engineer. We'll just sit here for a while. Okay, so there's a lot of panicking going on. That's really good. I don't like those explosions. Those explosions say that he's blowing up valuable stuff when he's shooting. Um, something that explodes with that amount of power is probably... probably like consoles and that sort of thing. Because it wasn't a massive explosion. So it wasn't the uh, power generator, which is good. Power generators are really good to have alive, like intact. But I think consoles still count as navigation, maybe. So you know, that's twelve or twenty thousand dollars down the drain every time he shoots that. Not a massive deal, but <laughs> I like free money. I don't know about you, but I like free money. Hello. I'm guessing the guy with the power armor died. No, holy shit. The guy in the flying suit died. That's really unlucky. Ah. <sighs> Okay, well, maybe now is the time to start going in. I don't want more of my guys dying. Two grenades. I mean, send in the tanks. Or at least get them into the light of fire. So, those of you who wanted to see the battleship, it's about to be a lucky day. Grenade? No grenade. Excellent. That is so much movement still. Okay. Ben. Up we go. Hello, he's panicked. This is the control room, so my tanks can't do anything on the top level. But they can tell us if something bad is... What? I do hope you realize that line of sight doesn't really make any sense. You're seeing him through the elevator. As if there was a hole in the floor, because there is. <laughs> See, I don't think that angle actually works in real life, but... Okay, sure. So, uh, I guess just 
stand at the end. <laughs> Look inwards. That one has a gun. Okay, that's that's good intel. Um How are you holding up? Surprisingly well. Um I'm gonna say shoot the guy in the dick. <laughs> um Yeah, the ones without guns are fine. We deal with them later. Get him before he pulls out his grenade. <laughs> um, you, I might reposition to this side, like that, and I might just get you to shoot the wall so your aim resets. Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> okay, we're running low on guys, so... And I think the last people are people who have panicked and lost their guns. I'm willing to bet on that. I'm just gonna send in a couple of rookies. By couple, I mean five or six. I'm just looking at people who are valid for this mission. I don't want to send in someone- wait, you're hurt. I don't want to send in anyone who's, like, gonna die if they got shot accidentally once, so the guys who got injured in the, um, grenade blast are a big no, but, uh, I will send in six. Not enough five minutes. Okay, that's fine. We'll go next turn. It sounds like there's two people left. I think an engineer and a leader. I think they're both missing weapons. So that's good. Yeah, like, look, this is where the blast went off. Everything's just blown to hell. These walls are almost indestructible, and yet they've been penetrated. So even though the, the damage doesn't look that significant, the fact that two two walls are open, or maybe this is already open, but this wall has definitely been destroyed. That is incredible already. And here you can see Alien Entertain- hello. Didn't see that coming. Maybe we can just stun him. We don't have a stun gun. Okay. Um, does anyone have a stun rod? Yeah, just just shoot him. I didn't mean to click that. Just shoot him. Yes, this is the alien entertainment. Um, looks like a fun time. I haven't finished the research on it, so like... I I can't show you the entry on it, but it like apparently stimulates your brain directly or some shit like that and makes you feel great. Oh, okay, so we lost one agent. I don't think they were that valuable. In terms of, <laughs> um, I don't think they were one of our best guys, but still, never fun to lose a guy. On the plus side, we got 200 lyrium, which is kind of amazing. We need smoke grenades.